As the third video in this series on making SSH access to a CentOS Linux server more secure, this tutorial will show you how to create and use SSH keys with PuTTY. With this video tutorial, you will learn how to use SSH keys to connect to a CentOS server from a Windows PC using the PuTTY SSH client and PuTTY Gen utilities. You can download PuTTY and the PuTTY Gen utilities from the URL displayed in this video and from the link in the text below. To generate a set of RSA keys, launch the PuTTY Gen utility. RSA is a crypto system for public key encryption. On the PuTTY Gen key generator screen, make sure the SSH-2 RSA option is selected, then click the Generate button and move your mouse around the area, as instructed on the screen. This will generate some randomness and will take a few seconds to complete as seen in the progress bar. Once complete, you will see a generated public-private key pair. In the key comment field, you can enter any comment you like to help you identify the generated key pair. Click the Save Public Key. Choose location to save it. Name the file as you'd like and click Save. On the PuTTY Key Generator screen, click the Save Private Key. On the PuTTY Gen warning window, click Yes. Choose the location to save the file. Name the file as you like and click Save. The location of the files can be the same, but ensure that only you have access to it and that you do not lose the keys. Next, right click on the text field beneath Public Key for Pasting into OpenSSH Authorized Keys File and choose Select All. Right click again and choose Copy. Now you will save your copied public key log to the CentOS server. Open the terminal and at the command prompt type mkdir space tilde forward slash dot ssh and press enter. Then type chmod space 0700 space tilde forward slash dot ssh and enter. Next type touch space tilde forward slash dot ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys and enter. Then type chmod space 0644 space tilde forward slash authorized underscore keys and enter. Now you will edit the authorized keys system file. At the prompt type sudo space vi tilde forward slash dot ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys and press enter to execute the editor. If prompted to enter sudo password, type your user's password and press enter. On the editor screen, press the insert key and right click your mouse to paste the copied public key. Press the escape key, type colon w and press enter to save the file. Type colon q and press enter to exit the editor. To configure the putty profile in your Windows PC, open the putty utility. In the host name or IP address field, enter your server's IP. In the port field, enter the custom port configured during the how to change your default SSH port tutorial. Make sure the connection type is SSH. In the category section on the left pane under connection, choose data. In the auto login username field, enter the username you created in the how to create a new user tutorial. Go to the Category section in the left pane and under Connection, expand SSH. Under SSH, highlight AUTH to access the options controlling SSH authentication screen. In the Authentication Perimeters section, click the Browse button and browse to the location where your private key is stored. Choose it and click Open. In the category section of the left pane, highlight Session and enter a chosen name for the profile in the Saved Sessions field and click Save. Choose the newly saved profile and click Open to connect to your CentOS server using the SSH key pair. Thanks for joining us and return often to see new tutorials from Superb.net.